Hi, I'm Jordan with Horizon Hobby, here to talk to you today about LiPo batteries, safety, and some best practices. Let's take a look. Lithium ion may appear on your batteries for regulatory or shipping purposes. Lithium batteries provide more consistent power and a higher capacity than its predecessor, the nickel metal hydride battery, or NIMH for short. Spectrum Smart Lithium Batteries take this a step further by adding a smart chip that allows for all-in-one balancing and monitoring. Lithium batteries can be produced lighter and in almost any size or shape we need. Like with any high-powered application, there is an inherent risk when charging lithium ion. By following these best practices, you can ensure that your batteries will be safe for many years to come. Your Spectrum Smart Charger should already have the ideal default setting for your battery. If you're unsure about your battery's charge setting, always charge at a 1C rating. Keep the charger firmware updated. The most up-to-date smart charger firmware will also ensure your battery's internal firmware stays up to date. Keep the lithium battery in a battery bag while charging. Our Spectrum and Dynamite battery bags work great and can be found in the link below. Make sure you're charging on a non-flammable surface and in a well-ventilated area. We also recommend never leaving a charging battery unattended. A watchful eye combined with these practices will make sure for trouble-free and safe lithium charging. When you are out at the field getting ready to use your battery, inspect it before use and after use, and before charging and after charging. When using lithium batteries, be sure they are plugged in, and when using a smart battery, that it's seated fully so that all three connections are present. Ensure the battery is secured in your vehicle, boat, or plane as per the manufacturer's recommendations. And be sure not to pull on the wires to unplug. Always pull by the orange plug, grasp it, pull it out. Watch for LVC or low voltage cutoff to kick in during running. If your battery voltage reaches below three volts per cell, you can permanently damage the battery. LiPo cutoff on the ESC can look different, but often results in intermediate throttle response or lack of power. Check your owner's manual to see what low voltage cutoff looks like for your application. Let the battery cool down after use and do not charge the battery until it's reached an ambient room temperature. Always unplug the battery from the ESC when not in use. Look for signs of abuse or issues that may happen to your battery. Look out for dents, puffing, cut, or frayed wires. These are all signs that your battery may need to be retired and properly recycled. Storage voltage is usually 3.7 to 3.85 volts per cell, and will maintain the battery and ensure the battery does not reach inoperable levels. It is best to store your LiPo batteries in LiPo bags, metal ammo cans, or any other approved container. Keep it away from direct sunlight and heat sources, and always unplug from the application after use. Always use a LiPo checker like the Spectrum Smart Checker, or your charger may provide this functionality, so you can monitor battery voltage and adjust smart setting parameters. The extreme conditions of the RC hobby can push lithium batteries to their limits, from withstanding the jumps of the Creighton to the challenging crawling conditions of the SCX platform or the relentlessly power-hungry Blackjack 42, the batteries will eventually need to be retired and recycled. You should consider replacing your lithium battery if any of the following is noticed in your pre-run, pre-charge inspection. Battery cell voltage below 3.0 volts or individual cell voltage difference being too far and not allowing for a balanced charge to initiate. If the battery has physical damage or deformation such as a cracked outer protective case, a battery lead that has become frayed or damaged, uh, a swelling of the outer case, a leak discharge from the battery. Most hobby retailers, battery supply, automotive stores, big box hardware stores, and electronic stores will accept lithium batteries for recycling. Local recycle centers and landfills will often be able to take them as well. A quick search of lithium battery disposal near me on the internet will likely present several locations in your area. If you are unsure about a particular location, you can always give them a call before making the trip. As always, check your local regulations on lithium batteries and never just throw a lithium battery in the regular trash. Lithium batteries provide years of reliable and powerful fun if treated correctly and with a safety first mindset. 
If you run into any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via chat or email on our webpage. We're available seven days a week and look forward to getting to know you.